Hello, my name is George and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to display your Rainbow Six Siege rank uh, and input into OBS so it can be displayed on your live stream. Now, this uh, I'm going to show you how to do this using uh, uh, OBS and uh, it, should it should apply to uh, Streamlabs OBS as well. So if you'd like to follow the instructions very carefully, um, if you get lost anytime in this video, if you go back to the beginning of the video and restart it and follow every instruction very carefully, carefully then you will be able to do this with uh, great success okay so first things first you're gonna need to go to r6 tab and uh, yeah basically uh, there might be several other options but I found uh, r6 tab to be the easiest way to do this they have a built-in configurator for it so I like r6 tab so I'll put that r6 tab link in the description below and then you can go to that website and follow instructions very carefully. So we can go ahead and do this from scratch. So uh, if I just go to R6 Tab's main website, like so, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my name, because I'd like to display my name. Let's cache me at two on Siege. So uh, yeah, once you click on the profile, you want two tabs open for this, because apparently, I'll, I'll show you this in a second, but you click Stream Widget, and it's supposed to automatically input all your information into there for you, but for some reason I haven't had success with this. Uh, anywho, it's a, it's a pretty simple process, so I'm just going to have two windows like this open. So once I click Stream Widget, I can take information off my, off my, uh, off my page and then input it into the widget so it can be displayed properly. So first things first, uh, you go to your, uh, you go to your rank stats on uh, R6 tab. Uh, well. For those of you who have never been to this site, you go into the player name search and then you type in your name, click here, and then you get this kind of a window right here. And don't worry, um, I'll make sure that uh, if you have like a different region rank or something like that, because you can have three ranks in Rainbow Six Siege dependent on your region. Uh, you can display whatever rank that you wish, and that's a pretty easy process. So. On the left side over here, it says Stream Widget. And over here where it says Stream Widget, you would want to click here. And then, apparently I thought that it's supposed to automatically input this information. This is what I was, you know, having some discrepancy with. But again, it's uh, very easy, so don't worry too much. So, right here you have your profile URL, your background color, uh, your background transparency, your alignment, rank region, and display options. And uh, there's like, I think there's only three things here we're going to mess with, which is the profile, the transparency, and the rank region. But uh, it's not such a big deal. So I'm going to go here and then I'm, I had another version open, like uh, of what I just showed you. So I could click on widget on the other tab. And then I'm going to take this link right here after r6tab.com backslash. And then I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to go down to where it says profile URL over on the uh, widget and then after r6tab.com slash I'm gonna highlight and then paste my information from my site over here so pretty easy and then uh, for the background color um, it gives you a little color picker and this is just normal normal color section selection so you make your own color and then you can put it in here for the background transparency um i use a green screen on my stream so you know i don't want any kind of like you can see this little, little grayish area right here i don't like that so i'm just gonna put zero and then it'll make it fully transparent so it goes well with my green screen um, for this widget alignment, you don't really need it because once you're in OBS, you can just drag it, you know, wherever you want on your screen. And then uh, for your rank region, if you want to just, well, I am based out of Tokyo, so I'm going to have my Asia rank, which is also my highest rank displayed on my stream. And then for display option, you can have like display rank only, display rank and stats, and then display stats only for your... Uh, so we can try one, and then it'll just display like your rank. Two will display your rank and like your KD, win loss, so and so. And then I believe three will be on your stats. 
though you could have this if you want to. So I like, I'm just gonna have the simple one so I don't take up a lot of screen space or screen real estate. And then once you put all the necessary information over here, and I can get the magnifier out so some people have some trouble seeing this stuff. So I put the information from my profile over here. So I, I pasted the my page information into here. I went and I set a transparency of zero right here. Uh, I didn't screw with the widget align. I did change my rank region. You can set NAEU or AES, and I'm based at an AES. I have ranks in all three regions, but I just went ahead and set my AES, which is my highest rank. And then uh, for display option, I just made it one, so it looks like this. Uh, just a quick recap. So once you have done all that, you can go... Okay, so it's kind of hard with a magnifier, but you see at the bottom of the display options, like the next section over here, it'll show your your widget URL. So what you want to do here is, is you want to copy this widget URL, control C, so copy it, or you can like right click and copy it. Open up your OBS. Once you have your OBS open, you're going to want to go in your sources, click the plus button in your sources. And then you want to make a browser source. So we can call this like Siege Stats or something. Click OK. And then over here under the URL, uh, hopefully you can see that URL, you can double click this and then take your widget URL from R6 tab and then copy it. So once you have copied it, you can click OK if you're satisfied with the settings over here at the bottom and click OK and then it'll show like your stats right here okay so once you have done that you can move it around wherever you want um, I actually uh, have mine display through my streaming PC so over here on this PC you can't really see it but um, yeah basically if you want to align it to wherever you want that should be enough information for you and then you'll be golden so yeah that's just a simple way of you know to resize it again like like i was saying get back to it you don't have to align your widget anywhere on the page i mean you can move it if you need be so yeah that's pretty much it um i like having mine on the top right of my screen maybe a little bit further down so it doesn't interfere with my uh like my twitch youtube mixer advertisement link thingy then it just sits there the whole time. And then if I want to hide it, like I play another game and I want to hide it or something, I can just click the I button after I lock it, and then I'm good there. So, yeah, um, I get it's a very simple tutorial, but it's a very simple process to get this done. Um, no one should really have any kind of significant trouble with this. I mean, really follow the instructions that I have laid out and then you'll be golden. You'll be able to do this successfully. So, um, yeah, if you have any comments or question, or, uh, yeah, if you have any comments or questions, put them in the comment section below. I'll have the R6 tab linked in the description below once I uh, get this video live up on YouTube or uploaded on YouTube. Um, if you want to come and ask me, like, questions in real time, I'm happy to show this in real time on my uh, stream on Mixer. So, mixer.com. Uh, slash cash me out to come and ask me live um, I'm live every day uh, also please like and subscribe in this video if you have not already and you would like to see more content I put content up I try to put content up every single day even though it doesn't happen but uh, yeah that's uh, that's pretty much uh, it for this one thanks for watching bye for now